Hey, bro. Hit my intro. What's happening, my visionaries? It's your man, J. Rock. Back in effect, I'm live and direct, and I'm coming at your neck with yet another. Video, 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 baby. Ah. What's happening, my vision? It's your man, J. Raw, man, back up in the stain with yes, indeed, another video, man. Yeah, visionary salute to you. So, as you can see from the background, I'm going to be checking out Megadeth. I think it's been quite some time since I've divulged into this uh, thrash metal band. I've done a Holy Wars Punishment Do It. I've done Sweating Bullets. I've done a few selections um, um, from this from this group. And from what I can recall from them, because it's been a few years, I think, since I've done a reaction to them, that the thrash metal style, personally, just subjectively speaking, isn't necessarily my favorite you know, genre of, or subgenre of metal. I would have to say doom metal and then, yeah, doom metal, like acid rock, even though it's not technically metal, but, you know, things like that. As far as my favorite metal bands go, I like Gojira. Um, I like Slayer. But anyhow, man, so Megadeth, Atut La Monde, uh, this French for Set Me Free, I believe. Um, so, merci beaucoup. Thank you for being here with me. I uh, hope everybody doing, everyone is doing well. And just want to stop for a moment also and just uh, reiterate to everyone or inform everyone about my, my GoFundMe that I have for uh, my aunt. That link will be down in the description below. To all those who have already donated, I definitely do appreciate you for your support and assistance in this uh, matter. It's been a very, very uh, trying and sort of tumultuous time for my family um, with all this that's been transpiring with her health and Definitely every penny that you go to will be going to her medical expenses, also to help to her young daughter as well, um, who is, uh, yeah, who definitely, definitely want to thank you everyone for the support. I definitely do appreciate it. Um, if I never received another dollar from you for from you guys for doing this, just for the fact that you donated this to 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 help and assist is, is great. So if you would like to do so, irrespective of the amount, I, I certainly appreciate it. That link can be found in the description below as well so thank you so much for taking the time to do that i really do genuinely genuinely if you want to express my deepest gratitude for that as well but anyhow so we're gonna go ahead and get into it mega death without further ado let me put on my headphones with two there they go let's do it don't remember where i was I realized life was a game. I like this open. I like this opening riff. More seriously, I took things. Definitely like this this opening riff. I like that sort of stereo. What it cost? My life passed before my eyes. I found out how little I accomplished. All my plans tonight. Different, so different sound. No, Ooh, I like that power chord. That bass too, nice and guttural, nice deep in the mix. My body's gone fast. Oh, like that repetitive I'm note. Okay, okay. That was a great second, uh, first verse, and great way to introduce the track. Love that opening riff, man. Love that opening riff. Love how just it's, it's kind of a different approach uh, compositionally from previous uh, songs that I've heard, previous selections I've heard from Megadeth. Because usually they have this sort of again that thrash metal style. It's very abrasive. It's very hard hitting. It's very impetuous. You know, it's just go go go. Very energetic. This is more. This is more methodical. This is more meticulous. This is more compositionally. This is definitely, definitely more stripped down and sparse, and uh, you know, a lot slower than I've heard their other other songs. And just to 
correct myself that French, uh, those words in French, you know, it, it translates to all the world, to everyone, to all my friends. I love you, but I have to go. A tout le monde, a tout mi ami, je vous ami, je dois partir. So if I have a terrible French pronunciation, please forgive me. I'm not a fluent speaker at all. I skipped the Duolingo courses. So <laughs> anyway, let's take it back a little bit. Let's get back into it. If my heart was still alive, I know it would surely break. And my memory is left with like that distortion on that lead lead guitar. There's nothing more to say. Moving on is a simple thing. What it leaves behind is hard. You know Love that line. Love that long note he has at the end of each verse. Get to our part two. Love that snare. Love how crisp that snare is too. Nice solo. Oh, I love that, that key shift. Love the way this is mixed as well. Nice stereo. Especially with the two guitars. Come the reprisal from the beginning. That riff from the from the introduction for me. nothing like a lone guitar note to end the track so oh man i i definitely did enjoy this 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 might be one of my favorite uh megadeth songs can can certainly see why it's received the the popularity that it's received and it's it's just for me from my small infinitesimal recollection of what i remember from their previous selection that i heard from them you know prior to this reaction this is sort of a Definitely a different approach, sort of a deviation from their normal style that they usually utilize. I mean, this is, like I said, it's got that slow groove. It's more methodical. It's more, you know, it's more brooding. It's more harrowing. And it definitely, definitely fits tonality, you know, tonal wise with the the theme, you know, the track. So thematically speaking, I mean, what I, what I believe this song is pertaining to, um, and then just the way that the composition sort of accentuates that right it just helps you to oh yeah this is what the song is referring to but even though initially i would i would have think just from these lyrics predicating these lyrics that the song could be about someone who is perhaps you know suicidal someone who's perhaps wants to in their life or somebody who just perhaps merely doesn't want to exist i mean you can those things are not necessarily mutually exclusive uh but again i just love the approach to this track sonically love the guitar love the uh love the vocals 
Um, love that double dual solo by Dave and Marty at the end of the track. I think that was very, I don't think I've ever heard a dual. I may have heard it and just not recognize that it was a dual solo. I might've thought that, oh, they might've, you know, post-production might've dubbed it in. You know, the, you know, the same guitars, but playing a different, you know, playing at a different, uh, playing the lead instead of playing the, you know, the rhythm. But you know, to hear a dual solo by two different guitars and just to hear the, just, just to hear the cohesion of it, you know, uh, I think that was pretty, pretty cool. Love the love the way this is mixed. Love the stereo as well. Love the way that uh, the how crisp that snare is. Everything about this track, man. This track is pretty good. Um, so I'm looking at the lyrics on, on Genius. So before I do any annotations or anything like that, I don't need any annotation for the French uh, part of the track, the French lyrics, so I can get the translation of what the lyrics mean. Um, just even by the the chorus, right? A tout le monde, a tout mes amis, je vous aime. To all the world, to everyone, to all my friends, I love you, but I have to go. Now, initially, you would initially think, okay, well, that sort of gives implications of, you know, suicidality almost, right? Um, but maybe perhaps not. Maybe it's less somber, less morose, less melancholic than you initially think, because maybe it could just be essentially someone saying, okay, maybe I just want to depart from the world. Right, so not literally depart from the world, as in take my own life, but meaning mentally, physically, excuse me, not physically, but mentally, spiritually, want to depart from the world, want to remove myself from the world, to disconnect a little bit to a degree, because the world has caused me such, it's so tumultuous, it's causing me such strife, such grief, right? That's almost existential in a way. Um, you know, the first verse where he says, don't remember where I was. I realized life was a game. The more seriously I took things, the harder the rules became. I had no idea what it cost. My life passed away before my eyes. I found out how little I accomplished all my plans and I. So this this could be someone who's in that stage of their life. Uh, perhaps someone who's in their 30, you know, late 40s or something who, who believes that, wow, I've wasted so much time with trivial things that don't really matter. Ironically, I took life seriously, and the irony is that this, the more serious that I took things, the more arduous and difficult that it became. Had I just been more relaxed and going with the flow a little bit more, perhaps my life wouldn't as wasn't wouldn't have been as turbulent or tumultuous as it was. Then he said, "I found out how little I accomplished all my plans and that, and that's that's a that's a very." I mean, that's a very harrowing realization to come to when you realize like, oh my goodness, I wasted all this time. I feel like I sometimes feel that way. And I'm only, I'm about to be 25 in two days. And I feel like I've wasted a lot of time procrastinating um, when I really should have been doing things differently. So we can all feel like that to a degree. You know, everything's similar. We, we as human beings, we perceptualize time in such a, in a vacuum because we really do have a short span of existence in this universe. Uh, in the world. So, um, so, I mean, perhaps just all, all the, the things that life can, can inundate you with, you know, it can, it can be overwhelming, right? It says my heart was still alive. I know it would surely break and my memories left with you. There's nothing more to say. Moving on is a simple thing. What it leaves behind is hard. Mm, love that line. You know, the sleeping feel no more pain and the living are all scarred. Yeah, from these verses, I would have definitely thought that he was referring to, you know, ending it, taking his own life. But I love that line. Moving on is a simple thing. What it leaves behind is hard. And I think, wow, that is such a poignant line because, I mean, some people would say that the moving on is the, is the more arduous thing to do. But even more difficult, even more arduous than that is the remnants of what remains after you you leave something behind. Right. Perhaps you're leaving family behind, perhaps leaving a significant other behind. You realize that I can't I can no longer. So that's that's a real truism of life. Yes, yeah, sometimes moving on is, sometimes can be a simple thing, but what it leaves behind those remnants, man. Um, so he said, these are the last words I love to speak and they will they will set me free. So that, Maybe just a positive affirmation. These are the words, and these words set me free. These are affirmations. These are affirm my my reasoning for existence. Right. These help me to cope with the problems that I'm dealing with. So, 
you know, I, I thought it was a, a, a great song. And um, Genius said the song is about having problems and overcoming them. It's not about suicide, despite what people in the thought. See, I thought it was about suicide initially as well. I would have thought that just from the, the lyrics. Um, but Dave, the guitarist, I believe, is he also the lead singer? Um, you guys can inform me about that. Um, he said there were a lot of times when I, I was lost. In February 93, there was no solution to a temporary problem because I just lost focus. I ate a handful of volumes and I overdosed. Why would I want to voluntarily kill myself through the use of stuff that's not supposed to do any good for me? Just makes me rethink my whole way of life right now. Ah, so from the from the writer, from the lyricist, gives some context, provides context on the meaning of the lyrics. Not necessarily someone who is suicidal, but necessarily someone who recognizes in a realization or had an epiphany about their position in life at the moment as it pertains to, wow, you know, what am I doing in my life? And every once in a while, we all, we all, sometimes we all have to come to that realization. We have to shift the paradigm of our thinking and we have to realize where we are in a position of life or in our lives as well, because the only thing we can control is what's in our lives, what's in front of us, ourselves, the way we react to life. Um, so, yeah. Definitely, definitely cool song. Definitely, definitely enjoyed it. If you guys have any recommendations on Mega Death, please let me know down in the description below. And the um, only thing I got left to say is, peace out, so sweet. You remember, say, best in the script, most like you do, very, very best. Live, love, love, like, love, that's why, because why, because why, because life is beautiful. That's fine. I'm going to catch you on the flip side. <laughs> I'm out, man. Deuces. Ah. Mm-hmm.